In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can put multiple headers in a single submenu column. So let's look at two examples here. In the first, we have two headers in our submenu that have, a, that have child items below them to create normal columns. And then we also have three additional uh, items at the same level, at that second level, but they don't have any child items. And you know they look a little silly just spread out this way without any children. Um, so assuming you're not planning on adding any children to them, what you can do is wrap them in a column and you can stack them here beside these other two columns if that's your preference. So let's look at how we can do that. If we go into the menus panel, uh, just to show you our layout here, we're looking at the extra headers top level item and then we have our one, two, three, four, five headers and the first two having children. So let's go ahead and add a column item under Uber menu advanced items, we'll expand that and we'll look at the column and add that to the menu and then this is basically going to act as our header for our third column now there won't actually be a header there the column item doesn't actually add any content it's just for layout purposes so by adding this column and then making these items children of this column we will create a third column with these as its contents so it works the same way as these other headers do by creating a new column uh, except there won't be a column header so let's go ahead and save that and we can see what we have on the front end refresh and you can see now these items are stacked in a column instead and you'll note that they now look like normal menu items and that's because a child of a column item will automatically become a normal item and by that I mean if you look at the item display setting for these items they're set to automatic and when they're set to automatic the menu will automatically determine the most appropriate way to display them in this case as normal items however if you'd rather display them as header items you can change that here just switch the item to display to header um, if, let's just do that for one item first so you can see how each of these are controlled independently so we'll see now the first item has become a header, but we can create, make the other items header, headers very easily by changing their display types as well. Okay, so that's one way you can use columns. Now let's look at a second example and in this case all of our headers have child items right everything has a column here but uh, our our columns are varying heights and let's say that you want to stack these first two uh, groups as a single column rather than have them create two separate columns so we can use the same column item for that purpose remember the column item is just a a structural layout item that allows you to create a column and then place things inside it. So let's create a new column and we'll add that in the stacked groups submenu and we're just going to drag our header one and header two. Remember those are the two uh, groups of items, those two columns that we want to merge into a single column. So we place header one and header two inside this column item and then we go ahead and save the menu and now when we refresh the front end you'll see that all of those items now appear in a single column but again those headers now become displayed as normal items so if we want to switch those back uh, to being displayed as header items instead we'll just go to the header one and header two settings change their item display to header and then we refresh and now you can see we have header 1 and header 2 stacked in a single column and displayed as headers with their child items below them now this is very useful when you have particularly uneven columns in your submenu and say you have you know too many columns to fit them all on one line you'd really not rather not have them uh, drop down to a second line and start a completely new row you can use this technique to sort of fill in the gaps and that's how you can use columns to group multiple headers into a single column. 